And hence, we associate ourselves with these individuals, specifically with Sayyida Tunisa Al Alameen, Fatima Al Zahra, peace and blessings be upon her, because the Holy Beloved Prophet, Al Rasul Al A'zam Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wa Sallam. Listen to this hadith that highlights one of the positions and the attributes and the benefits of taking this great lady as a role model. This hadith is found where? In the book Mi'at Manqaba by Shaykh Al-Qummi in Al-Bihar, Yanabi Al-Mawadda and several other books of hadith. The Prophet of Islam addresses whom? Salman Al-Muhammadi Al-Farisi Rudwanullah Ta'ala Alayhi. He said to him, Ya Salman, Man ahabba Fatima ibnati fahuwa fil jannati ma'i. Whomsoever loves my daughter Fatima, he or she is with in paradise with me. And there's no need to read the rest of the hadith, to be honest. That in itself is sufficient. To be with Rasulullah in Jannah is the utmost prize that anyone is seeking, isn't it? But the Prophet of Islam goes on. He says, Woman abghadaha fahuwa fin nar. No doubt. Whomsoever upsets her is definitely in hell. Ya Salman, Hubbu Fatima, Yanfa'u fi mi'atin min al mawatin. Loving Fatima helps in at least 100 places, 100 areas. A saruhal mawt, the least of which is at the time of death. Wal qabr, wal mizan, wal mahshar, wal sirat, wal hisab. And the grave at, at the time of death, when it comes to the accountability, when it comes to the day of judgment, when it comes to the bridge, as sirat and the holding of the measure. فَمَنْ رَضِيَتْ إِبْنَتِي عَنْهُ رَضَيْتُ عَنْهُ Whomsoever my daughter is pleased with, I am also pleased with. وَمَنْ رَضَيْتُ عَنْهُ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ Of course, as we know, the pleasure of Fatima is directly proportional to the pleasure of Rasulullah and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the opposite is true. The displeasure of Fatima is related to the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fatima al Zahra, salamullahi alayha. The narrations tell us on the day of judgment, this is also found in Sunni and Shia in the books of hadith. That on the day of judgment there will be a cry, a call. غضوا أبصاركم حتى تمر فاطمة بنت محمد. Stand in admiration and awe. Lower your gazes so that Fatima walks past. The narration then goes on to say, she enters paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to her, O oh Fatima, take with you whomsoever you want to Jannah. She looks behind and she chooses from her followers those that will accompany her to enter the garden of bliss, prosperity and eternal happiness. Question. Today, you and I, do we want to be of those whom Sayyidatun Nisa casts her eyes on us and chooses us to follow her into Jannah or not? Look at her status. That Imam Al-Askari, salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayh, says not only should Fatima be taken a role model for you and I, not only for the sisters, huh? for the brothers too. Fatima tu hujjat, nahnu hujjaju Allahi fil ard, وَفَاطِمَةُ حُجَّةٌ عَلَيْنَا Fatima is the proof of Allah on us, the Ahlul Bayt. This is the status of Fatima, the daughter of the Holy Prophet of Islam. The